welcome back this video is going to be a bit long but i can guarantee you that it will be worth watching in this video i will not tell you something new but i will make you aware about the things you are doing right now this video is for the students who are pursuing software engineering as their career as well as software engineers who recently graduated and kick started their career everything which i am sharing in this video is completely based on my experiences and my past learnings we will talk about consistency uh how long should you do bsa then importance of system design in interviews how service based companies helps you in your early career then we will see step by step ladder how to reach uh from service based to fan then my favorite topic fomo uh if your friend is doing web development then few others are doing ai ml what you should do this is the most important question student has. then we will discuss on this consistency the most important thing in life is consistency i think most of you have started data structures and algorithms with great passion and determination and with a high goal of solving good number of problems but you ended up solving very few the main reasons behind that was time is not sufficient or energy got exhausted after coming back from the work and etc etc you tell this reasons to yourself to feel better from inside but one of the genuine reasons which i felt was a not a uh, fear of failure fear of not able to solve medium and hard level problems as yes, medium and hard level problems in lead code are really tough and it will take good amount of time to solve you have tried for the first time and you fail then you have tried for second time you fail and the third time you give up you give up then you felt you are not made for this but the reality is the every programmer should pass through this phase if you are passionate and if you are determined for consistent in this phase then you will you will be good at data structures and algorithms and the data structures and algorithms will be cake work for you so to maintain the consistency i have followed this approach by following this approach i have solved more than 600 problems in 2023 the approach was pretty simple it was like i have spent uh, around average of 30 minutes on monday to saturday and every sunday i have spent 2 hours so it is simple every day lead code has daily challenge problem every day it, in the uh, fm ist you will get the problem and you can solve you have 24 hours to solve that every day try to solve one problem and after uh, if you couldn't able to solve that problem try to watch the solutions and try to solve try to maintain the shift whatever the situation may be wherever you are try to maintain the shift it will motivate you to so solve good amount of problems and if you want to increase the speed and if you want to see how fast you are thinking then you should participate in the sunday contest sunday contest occurs every day at 8 in the morning you can participate in that and after participation if you solve two problems then the remaining two problems you should absolve it so every contest after every contest you should solve four problems even by watching the video solutions or by understanding the solution if you practice this regularly by end of 2024 i can guarantee you that you will solve more than 600 problems so i have followed this approach and it really worked for me and remember guys going slow is the fastest way to reach where you want to be so i have created a whatsapp community so there we will not post any random videos or anything just we will track the consistency how regular you are solving the problems and we will discuss the different approaches to solve the problem i have given the whatsapp link in the description go and check it out how long should i do dsa this is the most important thing important questions students and the software developer says so if you have just started doing data structures and algorithms the basic prerequisites for doing that is knowing either c++ java or python if you are good at this language then data to master data structures and algorithm it will take 18 months of effort if you are working for 18 months then you are well and good exceptions are always there few of them can complete in 6 months and few others will take 24 months is depends completely based on your determination and consistency if you are a working professional and if you have done a good amount of uh, data structures and algorithms in the college then doing it again is not necessary i will tell you a small example suppose there is an athletic who has a tremendous run in the past got injured and doctor suggested him for 8 to 10 months of recovery after coming back from the uh, injury whether he will uh, perform or not definitely will perform right we will we can see the examples in football where neymar junior and kevin de bruyne who have performed tremendously well after coming back from the injury and in cricket we can see hardik and kl rahul who came back and you have done extremely well so what is the main reason for that the foundation if the foundation is strong if you are if you have long gap in the game then definitely uh, after coming back you will do tremendously well. so if you have an interviews in the next 30 days 
the next 30 days. From today, you can start and for 30 days, you can practice, then it's enough. So if you have not done DSA in the college, then you should start from the beginning. There is no other shortcut to start from the beginning. Importance of system design in interviews. Before 2023, if you know data structures and algorithms, and if you are really good at it, you could, you could have placed in any of the companies. But now the trend is changing. Now the companies are focusing on system design as well. Now if you see, if you have four rounds, they are taking two rounds for DSA, then you can, then you are having one round of system design, then you have managerial round. So if you see, the, there is completely change in the trend. In the coming future, you, you may get the two system design rounds as well. So to learn system design, you should have DSA because DSA, DSA is a fundamental thing to have and then you can learn the system design. If you are a fresher, you should know basics of system designs like parking lot, parking lot or designing a chat board and you can see various uh, small small uh, system design questions in Google, you can search there. If you are experienced, you should know how to design a system, how to design a WhatsApp or a Twitter, you should know how to design, you should know the basics of the coding part as well. So don't worry, system design is really interesting, once you start, you will go with that. How service-based companies help you in early career? If you are placed in service-based company, most of the software engineers will be unhappy about their career. And always they think about the same. I, I had a senior who was placed in service-based company and he was unhappy in the beginning. But as he as the days moved on, he started seeing the opportunity. And if, uh, every six months, he had a different project. In, the, in different project, he had a new technology to work on. In the first project, he worked on AIML, where he worked on NLP models. Then in the second project, he had an opportunity to work on cloud technologies. He worked on AWS. Then in the third project, he had an opportunity to work on web development, where he learned Spring Boot and Java. And with this, he had built his resume very strong as, and his technical skills were amazing. He placed in uh, Microsoft as an HD2. I was very inspired from his story. Like he has a lot of hurdles in the beginning, but he saw the opportunity to learn and he learned and he got excelled. If he can do this, then you can. So you, you will not get what you want, but you will get what you are, what you deserve. One goal at a time. If you got placed in service-based companies, then it is good to dream about big fan companies. But I think your dreams should be based on your reality and it should be based on your actions which you are taking to achieve your dreams. You can see how many people got placed in fine companies from uh, service based companies. Very few, right? So instead of focusing on big dream, let's break down the dream into small chunks. If you want to, like, I will uh, explain with a small example. Now, going from TCS to Google is very difficult, but going from TCS to NCR is easy. That's why we first will break down. First, we'll go to NCR. Then we will go to service now. Then we will focus on fan companies. If you break down each goal into the chains, then each goal is achievable and feasible. Fear of missing out. Four. This is a common trait we observe in every individual. Suppose your friend is learning web technologies. Some other friend is learning AI and some other friend is learning on data analytics. You feel you are afraid that if you don't learn the technologies, you will fall behind. But I will suggest you a small trick. T-shape will learn. T-shape means we have horizontal and we have vertical. Horizontally, we should learn one technology end to end. And all other technologies, whichever we are encountering in the market, you should learn the basics of that technology. So if you have that uh, opportunity to work on that technology, so you can learn it very quickly and you can work on that. How to learn? And you should learn one, one technology deeply. FOMO should not afraid you, but it should encourage you to learn new technologies. So it should be like a JOMO, joy of missing out. I have tried a small awareness video based on my past experiences. I think I have added some value. Uh, if you learned something new from this video, please consider to like and please share this video to your friends. And if you are new to the channel, please do subscribe. And don't forget to join the community link Code with Confidence. And if you have any doubts, you can ask in the comment section. I will try to help you out. And I will see you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.